Hello everybody, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com and in this video, I want to share with you some ideas and suggestions on how to use Melanie's not 10, but 100 pages. Okay, different planner pages for journaling, for planning, for organization. She's got it so covered, okay? Uh, so, well, we are in the grid view section. When you open up the Canva template, it will save a copy on your dashboard. Um, and I'm just quickly scrolling through, okay? Everything is very professionally designed. You can see at a glance that, you know, all the boxes, the tags and all that, everything's so beautifully properly aligned, which is really, really awesome, okay? Um, it is my opinion, my humble opinion, that it is really, really important to take good care of your alignment, okay? Because at a glance, you can tell how professional or well-designed a product is. If there are misalignments, you know, if the text looks what or if you're in the grid view section and then you realize that for some pages they have really thin borders and then for others they have very wide borders or lopsided borders then it really doesn't give a very uniform look right so i think melanie has really done a great job in taking care to make sure that every single page looks perfect all right there are 100 pages uh, you don't have to use all of them at once the beauty of it is you can mix and match different pages not even just from this particular canva template itself you could also mix and match pages from other templates now for the purpose of this particular customization video i want to zoom into page 51 okay which is mindful reflections and my intention is to convert this single page into a 30 page mindfulness journal okay so we're gonna call out our friend chat gpt okay and give him or ask it ask chat to give please give me 30 journal prompts or let's do mindfulness quote 30 mindfulness quotes let's see okay while okay let's let it go all right so then i'm going to come here and i am going to click on click a new create a new design sorry document us letter sized okay so there we go oh i actually still want to refer to melanie's project so here we go go to melanie's template and I'm going to grid view and I'm only selecting page 51 which is the page that I want to work with here let's edit this page first or rather edit this template I want to go to grid view because it's easier for me to find that page and I'm literally going to copy this page selecting this Control C to copy and then coming back here grid view Control V to paste it it should allow me to copy the entire page like that okay and here we go um there is nothing that i really want to change it but all right let's see okay i love everything about it i love everything about it if anything i possibly want to change the light greens to um black if it's possible if it's not okay let's go color change to black and then change all to black does it yeah okay it does the it does the job and then for this one um i'm undecided am i undecided i'm gonna leave it as as white i'm gonna leave it as white okay what i would want to do is to add in digital paper that i'll find from creative fabrica uh, and just kind of add some kind of designs or maybe just use some floral graphics to add at the back of it. Okay, let's keep things as simple as possible. All right, because once again, whenever you're using a set of template with commercial use rights, the whole idea is to help you speed up your digital product creation process so that you have a product ready to sell as soon as possible. All right, so which is why I want to have minimum changes but that lead to maximum impact so what i also want to do is use the 30 quotes generated by chat gpt look at that it's all done now um, and use bulk create inside canva to automatically put in 
each of this quote for every day to generate our 30 pages okay because remember that's our 30 day uh, mindfulness journal so I want to use this space to put in the text so I'm just gonna delete it hit T and then I will resize it like this and possibly make sure that let me see this is font 14.9 we will stick to that let's stick to size 15 hit enter and just adjusting the width so that hopefully when I auto populate the the quotes it will fit nicely okay because I really want to make I really want to minimize the need for readjusting it daily quote Okay, so let's do this, increase it upwards, just making sure it's centralized. Uh, positioning it to the center. Okay, it's already centralized, that's good. Let's close this, okay. And just zooming it out, sorry, zooming out. There we go. I might just want to move this block slightly higher a little bit so it doesn't jet out too far below the border. Everything else looks great. Everything else looks great. Maybe just here. Okay. Um, no. Okay. Now we're going to chat GPT and I'm also, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything, control C to copy and opening up an Excel spreadsheet and pasting it right here. Okay. Just spreading it out. Um, I honestly am not sure if the blank spaces will cause any issues, but I think what I'm going to do is I am just going to delete, delete them one by one. Ooh, what's going on? Mm-hmm. I'm just uh, deleting the spaces because I, like I said, I'm honestly, I'm not sure if it's going to cause me any trouble when I, I'm guessing it won't, I'm guessing it won't, but bear with me, you know, you can always speed up the video. <laughs> um, there are times where I intentionally leave the video to run uh, without trying to shorten, shorten it or speed things up because I do realize that it does help people have a better understanding on how much time it really takes to do all these things, right? So um, yeah, so of course there are times where if you've already seen some of the videos in this series inside our treasure box for Canva creators, you will notice that there are videos which I, I basically try to keep all the videos under 15 minutes. These are supposed to be quick videos to give you quick tips on how to actually customize or use the templates that we've included in our treasure box, right? Without um, without being overwhelming or without being like long, long trainings. Uh, that is why there are times where I just customize a few pages, let you have the idea, and then we stop the video. All right, in this case, I've just deleted all. And then what I'm going to do is going to go to file and save as my fullness quotes and saving it as CSV which I will then have to upload it onto Canva in order to use the bulk create. So let's head back to Canva, to my project right here. And on the left hand side, you should be able to find bulk create right here. If you don't see it yet, there is a chance that you might not have used it before and you could find it under apps. All right, so click on bulk create and I'm going to upload data. And this is a CSV file, open it to upload it. And then on the right hand side of the page, or rather this side of the page here, we're going to click on the ellipse menu and to click on connect data. Okay, so that's the quotes that have to, that will be automatically populated on this particular text box. All right, and that's it. And we're going to click continue, generate 29 designs. Why is it only 29? Okay, we're just going to stick with it. Did I miss out something? I might have accidentally deleted one line just now. All right, we'll, we'll live with it. <laughs> we, will, we will just generate this one, okay? Be careful. Um, be more careful than me in your own project, okay? So now, once it's generating, 
it will actually open it up in a new project okay so give it some time uh, it doesn't take too long fortunately for us so see um, now instead of one page we now have a total of 29 pages and what you will see is that every page you would have a new quote and I think everything looks pretty good okay I'm just quickly scrolling through the pages with my arrow key on the keyboard and you can see that as we go through every page the code changes so everything is great and the alignment looks good too um, that is because we have already adjusted the size the width of the text box to stretch it out because if it's not stretched out I've tried it before if it's not stretched out and the text that inputs it uh, gets input uh, is too big it kind of messes with the alignment so then you have to go to every single page to readjust the alignment again so that's going to take us a lot more time so the good thing to do is to or rather the the wiser thing to do is to really just adjust your text box size uh, according to the full width of wherever you want it to be so that like we can see right now no matter how long that quote is everything is aligned nicely in the center okay so that's it now you could definitely just stick with this, create a page, a cover page that says 30 day mindfulness journal, assuming I did not make a mistake and I do have all 30 pages here. Okay. Now, otherwise you could also make it a little bit more beautiful. Um, and I am subscribed to Creative Fabrica, the all access pass, which gives me all access to everything inside it, SVG files, digital papers, graphics, and they come with commercial use rights. Um, I really, really love using it. And yeah so let's just see if i can find any watercolor florals which i could possibly use it as a digital background seamless pattern oh that's really lovely that's pretty i could possibly just download this do i want to uh, undecided let's look for some more watercolor florals You could also go on the left hand side to kind of uh, filter what you try. Wow, the funky flowers are beautiful. They're gorgeous. Now, but because I'm trying to keep this product also printer ink friendly, I would pr probably choose something that is uh, a lot less bright, even though I really, really love these designs. And I like these. We can mix and match uh, between the stripes and the watercolors. Oh, the funky flowers are beautiful. I'm just going to download this. Okay, so of course I need to spend time to kind of search for it. It's going to take me a bit more time in terms of customizing. But even as the clock is going, you know, um, as I'm recording this, it doesn't look like it's going to take a lot, a lot of time. So I really want to encourage you that, you know, don't spend too much time customizing templates. Um, yeah, so let's go back to Canva and I'm going to upload Okay, let me just double click on a page and we are going to upload the digital papers. All right. Sorry, my Wi-Fi is possibly not working the best here. Okay, let's just select this and hit open. So what I'm going to do is I will upload and add in the designs. Okay, just to share with you, just to show you like this one. Day one, go to ellipse, the ellipse menu, and then why can't I set image as background? Maybe because the page is not fully loaded. The graphic is not fully loaded. I think that is why it's not allowing me to set it to background as yet. Okay, I'm too impatient. I apologize. Let me just remove this and wait a while. But basically, I think you already have the idea. You could use this as minimalist. Uh, mindfulness journal you could add in your own designs you could add in your individual graphics right like for example let's search for watercolor florals too i love watercolor florals okay so here we're looking at graphics and um avoid the pro elements so i'm going to go to filter and search for free oh this is so pretty this is so pretty too oh, decisions decisions let's use this one Okay, and there we go. Just put it right here. And if I want to, I could also reduce the transparency, possibly 50. So it's just like a light, faint watermark. And Ctrl D to duplicate it and just rotate it around. Something like this. 
and I really don't mind it jutting it a little bit into the notes section because, well, um, it's like a water, what do you call that? It's very faint, right? So it shouldn't interfere with the writing. So if I love this, I could just hold on the shift key to select multiple items, control C to copy, and then just proceed with pasting it on every page. It's as simple as that. Okay, so just two simple floral graphics, but it really adds to the whole look and feel of this mindfulness journal, right? Now that's one way. And the other thing is going back to my upload section, hopefully it's done by now. Let's see here. I could now, now that it's fully updated, uploaded, I can set it image as background. Of course, this is too much. We will position it all the way to the back. It is already to the back? Oh dear. Okay, maybe because we don't have any white background. Uh, so, easiest way to do it, go to elements and search for a square. Aha, there we go. Oh wait, that looks weird. Search for square or rectangle. Okay, and then just stretch it all the way out to cover it. Okay, just leave a really a thinner border, something like this. But of course, as you can see, if my border is pretty thin, then I won't be able to see much of the design, but it really is just to kind of add some bit of colors to it. Okay, like this. Of course, not, not the yellow, looks weird. Okay, go to white and positioning it to the back. Aha, and then we could have this. All right, but, but. Okay, and then maybe reduce the transparency a little bit also, change to 50. So it's just, it's not too bold, but add some colors to it. I could repeat that. Selecting the rectangle, Ctrl C to copy. And then on the next page, Ctrl V to paste it. And then positioning it to the back. And then going back to my uploads and finding one of the lovely florals. Setting image as background. Okay, sorry. I might be going too fast. Clicking on the image, ellipse menu, set image as background. Oh, this is so lovely. This is so pretty. There we go. Okay, so it's really up to you to de decide how you want to create the designs. You know, I really love the floral digital papers, but maybe because it doesn't really reveal most of it because of how I use it, I might end up using these floral, you know, just two floral designs at the corners because I think it really adds to it and yet it's not too overwhelming. Yeah, so I think that's prettier. So it's up to you. This is just to give you some ideas, whether using graphics directly from Canva or looking from third-party websites like Creative Fabrica. There is an affiliate link with um, along with the video that you're seeing right now. So feel free to check it out and have fun. I'll see you in the next lesson.